So uh, Bob's about to start pulling the transmission out of the old Tealy girl. Um, he has somehow finagled a toolbox under here. But uh, he did pull the drain plug and um, we did find some mystery mask of tools. I do not believe that's supposed to be in there. And you also found a bunch of chunks of something, didn't you? There's all kinds of stuff on this. Well, not just metal though. I thought you found some chunks mm -hmm. in the picture you sent me, but yeah. Um, Trans definitely had some issues, so we're gonna get this thing yanked out and get it rebuilt. But I'm no transmission expert, but you know, I, I'm gonna believe that that was, you know, maybe important at one time. Uh, that's a transmission toothpick right there. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of metal. There's a lot of, that. there's a lot of freaking metal, too. So, yeah, she's pretty much screwed. God bless the amount of metal. I think it is. Here. Wow. But, uh, yeah. You can kind of see it. You can kind of see how, oh my gosh. There's so much metal. All right, we're gonna get this thing pulled. It's obviously hurt. It started losing gears. It already didn't have reverse, but, uh, you know, I'm pretty... Pretty sure that might have something to do with it, but um <laughs> we did not do a burnout to finish it. Uh we definitely did a burnout to finish it because we knew she was dead. So we got the mega cab tour part, we got the badges, um, we got the bumpers off, um a lot of the trim pieces, the antennas, stuff like that. Um they are all sent off to paint. Got the bumper took apart, and we got Kevin's truck wrapped up and back outside. So um we got some cleaning up to do to to free up some more bays and stuff, but we're going to get this thing knocked out hopefully next week uh, in time for Shides if we do end up going. I'm not sure if we are going, but if we do go, you will see us in the Air Dog booth. So just beware. If you're there, you're looking for us, um, we're not going to have a booth, but we will be hanging out with the Air Dog guys. So um, as far as this truck goes, hope to wrap it up. This video is mostly about this truck. So we're going to be showing the new wheels and tires and then uh, hopefully the finished product. We're not going too crazy with this one right now because like I said, guys, this is my daily. Um, and right now while this one's down, I am having to drive the dually. So put a lot of miles on my dually and I don't really like that. So we're gonna, we're gonna get this thing back together. Um, also, race truck project. Um, we have a lot of parts coming in. I've got a new bed arriving, I believe, in about a week. Um, and it's a fifth gen bed um there's a lot of like controversy over like oh this is not actually a fifth gen the only thing that makes a fifth gen a fifth gen is the front clip and the engine well let me just say this the cgi blocks and the new fifth gen engines are kind of garbage so yes we are going to be throwing a, an older six seven engine in this and we're not going to be using the hydraulic lifters or none of the new crap um we're gonna be using the rods out of the old one and then we're gonna to go to a sleed block. So, um, the, in my opinion, the only benefit of a fifth gen is the way it looks. So, we're getting the best of both worlds in my opinion here. We're getting that fourth gen body, which is the same cab as a fifth gen. We're going to, um, we're gonna get that early style suspension. Now, for daily driving, I do prefer the new suspension, but for the race truck build, the older suspension is ideal in my opinion. But that is my opinion. You can have yours. Um, as far as the conversion, though, I mean, we're going to be running a fifth gen bed, fifth gen fenders. Um, probably going to be chopping all that four link stuff off, put my new four link kit on. And yeah, so I mean, there's going to be a lot of fifth gen stuff involved, but I feel like this truck is going to be like the best of a lot of worlds. So, or, or just keep watching for like progress on this one. This will kind of be a slow build because now we have the teal truck back as you saw. So uh, we're, we're not really worried about this one anymore, um, just to be honest. Uh, we do have parts coming in for it still. We're gonna get the fit chain conversion done and this is gonna kind of be our winter project. After SEMA, we might sell one of the builds and then build this one over winter. Um, so yeah, we've got our engine over here that we are trying to save everything out of that we can. We got our rods. We're gonna start sending stuff over to, I believe, Linko Diesel is gonna build an engine for us. So, huge shout out to those guys for working with us. But, yeah, progress in the shop. She's a, uh, she's rowdy, bud. She's a little bit rowdy. Yeah. Yeah, no comment. Oh, we got the trans out of the old Teal girl. It feels like the old day. She's already back and already breaking crap. And it happens to be transmission problems. 
but uh, <laughs> what? No, no comment. I don't even need that. Yeah, you don't need that. Where we're going? Say it again. Damn, boy, that's a thick ass boy. You pull that thing. <laughs> you got this, man. I got faith in you. This is only our 37th, 48 RE pull. Come on. <laughs> Did we well to get the shafts together? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, it's going. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is this is a lot longer of a video than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> <laughs> the studs are out. Well, man, I mean, just optical penetration. Oh, oh there it went. <laughs> Don't drop my tea case. We've only got one more of them right behind you. <laughs> we got another one over there. We got three here. So that's, still, that's besides the point. I still like that one. Ugh. Uh, yeah, we got to dust this. We got to crank her back a little. She's leaking. Yeah, all right. We got a golden nugget. Uh, we're going to send this thing off to get refreshed again. <laughs> no, nah, man. Brand new. Brand new. Trying to quit. I love Dodge transmissions, man. They're just so reliable. Yeah. Yeah. No matter how built they are. How much you spend on them. No matter how much you spend on them. I mean, shoot, we had what, like 18 grand in the last drag truck trans? And that thing still made it like two passes before it just died every time. Yeah. And we had that one trans that every time we started it, it ate a pump out of it. Yeah. And then it died every single time. Yeah. Um, I remember we put it in once in the original drag truck. This is way back before anything to do with YouTube um, or even social media. We didn't do nothing. Or actually, that I built that. You came in right before it got sold, didn't you? You got there towards the end of it. I put three transmissions in it. Okay, well, that was just a normal <laughs> month. But uh, I went to spool it once after we put a fresh, really, freshly rebuilt trans. Yeah. And this is out in front of the shop. I mean, I hadn't made it a quarter of a mile. I spooled it. And the pump died and just you only dumped. had reversed. Yeah, Remember it just that? yeah, it just dumped white smoke everywhere. Smoked <laughs> everything. You reversed it the whole way back to yeah. the shop that one day. All we had left was reverse and we had to we had to drive all the way back to the shop and reverse. But yeah. Glad she's glad she's back, but I really hope she's not always a problems child like this. But oh well. We'll uh we'll get her fixed. Um my biggest concern is we gotta get the daily back together, man. I need, I need that thing back in my life. You're buying more vehicles, but you're running out of stuff to drive. I'm buying more vehicles, but breaking every one of them. Yeah. Deal. <laughs> All right, so me and Bub are kind of curious on what type of mystery mouse tools we can find in the pan. That is some very see dark you fluid. You're going to see. Oh, the glitter. Hmm. What's that, TikTok? Go out on the glitter. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. Yeah. yeah. Someone went heavy on the glitter. That's what, <laughs> That's what it is. Uh, well, there's a little bit of glitter involved. Yeah, that is dark. That is very dark. Um, if you're looking for one of our drain pans, we sell them. Um, all you gotta do is buy a set of wheels. You get four of them with it. It's a package deal. Really. It's a package deal. Yeah. We really didn't mean for it to happen like that. We thought all the fluid was out, and then we figured out it wasn't. I'm gonna put there's still a decent bit in that pan. Always. Mom, the truth. About to make a mess. Mess? No. Oh. Jamestown rules. Did you get one? Yeah, you did. Bottom right. Right there. Oh, I see it. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I caught that on camera. Bloopers. Okay, I think it's gonna come off now. That's not good. That's no good. I would say failure of something. <clears throat> well, to be continued, guys. Time to head to fire pump. We're going to have the old, uh, what is it they call themselves? The Hobbit? Yeah. Yeah, the Hobbits, yeah. We're going to go see the Hobbits. They're going to get her all fixed up. Give her some love. Um, and we're going to get this girl up and running again. So, woo! And then we got uh, we got some stuff going on next week, don't we? Um, we got a certain fifth gen getting a big stri a striker cradle kit, so that'll be interesting to get done. But all right, guys, we out of here. 
All right, guys, so just got back from powder. Um, we're about to start working on the white truck again, hoping to start making some progress on it because I need it back together next week for some events. Um, let's take a look at all this powder, though. It looks really, really good. So our boy Chad over at Alpine Customs killed the powder coat on the axles and everything. Um, he's This is the second set of axles he's ever done. Both sets were for us, and he's done great both times. So uh, hoping to get all this back together. Um, the color is Illusion Light Blue, I believe. Um, don't hold me to that, but I believe he told me it was Illusion Light Blue. I kind of gave him a sample and said to match it. And it, it should match the interior of the truck pretty good because this truck's got some blue painted interior pieces so that's going to look really good we got a whole nother blanket of stuff uh we could not fit it all in the trailer and i got a whole nother blanket of silver parts and some more blue stuff so the whole bottom of the truck is going to be two-toned in alien silver and illusion light blue so stay tuned for that one hopefully we're going to get to drop a video about this one next week because that is our job next week we are going to have 100 percent focus on this truck and the big truck um we've got to get ready for smoky mountain truck fest so uh, for Smokey, we're trying to have the silver one there. Um, we've got to finish the big truck and we're gonna have all the other trucks kind of ready, but I can only take so many trucks. So we're gonna have to kind of decide last minute like which trucks are going. But let's take a look at the new wheel and tire setup for the daily. Super excited to get these, you know, ready to go on the truck and let's take a look. So here we are. Here's the new JTXs for the daily. Um, we've got a 26 by 14. Yeah, I, I know it's a little bit big, um, but we got 26, 14 omens in a brush finish with 33 inch Venom RTs. This is a 14 50. Um, I went with a non concave wheel because I don't really like, I don't love concave wheels if we're going to be honest, but the brush finish I thought would fit in very, very well with the truck. So excited to have these wrapped up, about to put them on. Um, the truck is obviously not going to have full turn anymore. Um, but we might put a little bit bigger of a lift on it. Like I said, it's got leveling springs right now. We might go to three and a quarter Carly Springs to complement that new flight fab stuff we got coming in from miles. Um, so let's get these wheels and tires on the truck. All right, guys, all I can say is wow. With the wheel and tire set up on the mega cap. Um, this is kind of what I had pictured, but it actually turned out better than I thought it was gonna. And I'm really, really in love with how this truck looks. I know this is just my daily and it's not really like a complicated build, but like, I feel like this is like kind of a more relatable truck because you could still drive this thing every day and you could buy a truck off the lot and build this one pretty easy. But let's take a look. All right, guys. So all of our paint match should be back from paint on Monday. Hopefully we'll get this thing back together. And then I've got a couple trips to make next week and I'm hoping to have this thing together where I can drive it. Um, probably not the best truck ever to take on a road trip considering the 26s and the 33s, but this thing looks freaking gangster. Um, I know a lot of people are not into this look, but I love it. Like, I don't know. It's just like, it's a near stock height mega cab with some big gangster wheels, um, and some rubber band tires. And now that's, that's my style, but a lot of you won't like it. But, um, I mean, let me know what you think. Uh, a lot of people... Are kind of against this setup this is kind of what i like so i'm curious to see the truck fully color color matched and together obviously we've seen plenty of white fifth gens color matched um so this is not like no wild build by no means but uh it'll be a cool little daily and a cool build to add to the channel as we keep um adding stuff to it so we do have a trans potentially being built for it here soon uh, i'm gonna work with ethan over at wp diesel on a trans but yeah, truck looks great. Got to get everything back together. And I think we're going to really love the wheel and tire setup. Now it is sitting down a little bit in the front. Um, I don't know if it's stock springs in the rear and it's got soft ride springs in the front. And they've just kind of settled. Uh, so here in the future, I might get the three and a quarter Carly springs and then do some King shocks. Um, really, really want this thing to, you know, ride as good as it can. Obviously I did not help it with the big wheels and tires. So might as well throw some nice shocks. A little bit of powder coat and, you know, hopefully change up that whole front suspension setup a little bit with some stuff from our boy Miles. But that is the new wheel and tire setup. Like I said, 26 by 14 omens and a brushed finish if you're looking to get these. Now, we do sell JTX Forge wheels, so you've not got to comment in the comments like, oh, where do I get these? You can just call the shop, guys. Uh, also, there's a couple more things I want to show you. Just go ahead and, and feast your eyes on the freaking golf cart build, guys. 
I, I never thought I would have so much fun <laughs> with a freaking golf cart build. But like this has just been me shopping on Amazon at night and picking out things I thought would look good on it. And the golf cart looks amazing. The only thing I think we need to do now is get a black roof or we talked about potentially bedlinering the roof. That way uh, it didn't really, <sighs> like I was afraid that plastic dye would come off. Um, and then a new roof for these is insanely expensive. It's like $800 for a black roof. So I was like, no, we're not doing that. But we've got the black and brown leather stitch seat covers, the armrests with the cup holders. I mean, this thing is just, it's fashionable now. It's gonna be really, really nice to have it show, just kind of cruise around, see everybody. Really, really appreciate y'all for watching though. Um, you guys have been killing the videos here lately. Also, we do have another merch drop that just happened and we have another shirt coming in about two weeks. So stay on top of that merch game, get the latest shirts when they first drop and you'll get yours the fastest. When we release the drop, we have all sizes in stock and they usually sell pretty quick. So let's check out the new shirt. So everyone that loved the beloved Blue Fortune, um, we finally made you a shirt for it. Uh, we had a lot of requests for a fourth gen t-shirt because we had, like I said, we had the third gen t-shirt, we had the, the fifth gen t-shirt, and then now we have a fourth gen t-shirt and of course it has to be the blue truck. So um, that's what the back looks like and the front is a small FP. Appreciate y'all for all the merch support. Um, it's kind of what helps us build these trucks and travel the country. Huge thank you to y'all on that one. Um, I think our next show is Smoky Mountain Truck Fest. I'm kind of iffy about Shides. Um, I will let you know in next week's video if we do decide to go to Shides. But um, big, big news next week. We're going to be getting the teal truck back up and running. Hopefully ripping on it next week. And then we're going to be putting the silver 450 together. So big things happening. We've got a lot to do before Smoky Mountain Truck Fest. I mean, it's just, I believe it's about a month away. And we're nowhere near ready. So bear with us, guys. Appreciate you all for watching.